Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out level four, Rock Up at the Lock Up Free Play for Lego Marvel Super Heroes. We got our character list down below of all the characters we used in order to complete this fully. And uh, we get the 10 of 10 mini kits, Stand in Peril, True Believers, 100K, and oh to the yeah, here we go. Now it has been suggested to me that we uh, alter the direction of the map. I will try to do my best to figure that out and get that north and south pointy for you for future videos. But for now, you're going to go ahead and look for the, well, you saw it. Select it, go. Here we are. No cutscenes in this video. We've uh, sped this up and removed the cutscenes in order to get you through this and get you to the collectibles as fast as possible. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and grab a flying character and get our fly on. The level does allow you to fly all the way through this first area, which is going to be needed in order to get all of these life preservers. You see that red life preserver with the orange preserver on it? Well, we're going to need to knock out four of those bad boys. And uh, you can see we got one. And well, you can shout. Oh, sorry, five of them. My bad. My preview window is small. Leave me alone. We, get, we do get all five of them right now, though. I promise you. And there's also a mini kit floating right down below you. I could have got it right now, but as I've mentioned in a couple of the previous ones, when there's multiple items or tasks that need to be achieved, I try to get them all in one little take and uh, come back and get the other stuff, just so it makes a little bit more sense and it's not so scattered. Some of the levels uh, in the previous LEGO games you couldn't do that with, like Pirates, you had to, uh, there was multiple areas that you had to build up stuff, so we had to do it that way. But since we can, we'll go ahead and knock them all out, and look at that, Booyaka Shao! Fifth one yields us a mini kit. Oh, if you listen carefully, you can hear Stan Lee. We'll get to him in a minute as well. Save me! All right, so now we're going to head out over the water, right where we had mentioned just a second ago. And yeah, uh, speaking of mentioning, let's go ahead and mention the fast forward quick links down in the video description. If you guys are uh, wanting to skip along or you already have this area totally completed, woo, look at that shark. Go ahead and uh, look at the quick links down below and feel free to use them and scroll through. Maybe you only need the Stanley. Maybe you need mini kit number 10 or something. Uh, feel free to use them and whiz on through the level. You know, sometimes I can be fun and entertaining and sometimes it's just a matter of getting to the grind and getting it done. But Speaking of getting it done, pull Spider-Man out on this lower ledge right out by where we got the last mini kit. Once you grapple hook the, the little lid off of it, switch on over to the Iceman and make it all chilly <laughs> and it'll build up a fishing pole which is uh, very flexible for being ice you know what I mean but lucky for us he gets that mini kit fished from out in the water oh we go for a dip anyways I wonder if that would uh, you think that would melt him how does that work I don't know I don't know what his weakness is and uh, ooh bonus characters down there I'm sure some of you are like oh what is that uh, those are GameStop pre-order bonus. Power Pack, I believe is what it's called. It should be available on the store for purchase. Now, use Magneto on the far left. This is the first walkway right at the very beginning of the level. And once you uh, pull the magnetic field off of there, or the little lid off, go ahead and swoop up there with a the flying character and grab mini kit number four. And then we'll move over to Freely, Freely, Freely. Got a free old Stan Lee. As we mentioned, we could hear him over here. Look at that, he's trapped up in a little incubator or something like that. So we'll switch on over to Mr. Fantastic, slide through the grate, and then pull out Spidey, use our Spidey Sense, grapple the hooks that our Spidey Sense provides for us, and then down drops Stan and does a little dance. Oh yeah. Now he's free, but he's not really free, is he? He's kind of trapped in there, so. Nonetheless, we get the credit for it, and we can move on and go on. So hey, I know a minute ago I mentioned the fast forward quick links. There is roughly a minute and a half, two minutes before our next collectible. So we're going to play through and rather than skip this, just in case you didn't watch the story and you're only watching this, uh, we're going to play through and kind of give you a little overview of what needs to be done. Or I guess if you're playing free play, we can give you an overview of what needs to be done in order to uh, bypass the level. Because there are some things that you don't have to do, but there are some things that you do have to do. And you can see, because I didn't do some things, I wasn't able to grab those big green handles there. But I was able to fly up above and flip this switch, which gets me access inside to a control panel, which I will use Iron Man's smartness to go ahead and remove the four big old prongs holding us back. Ain't nobody gonna hold me back. Oh no. Watch out.
watch out, it's saber tooth. Look at that run, like who runs like that? That's so weird. I thought he was running away like that. He's like, hey Brad, how's it going? All right, I'm out of here. Do you imagine that? That'd be crazy. All right, make your way through with Hulkster. Bust on through the back. And once you're ready to advance in, go ahead and crawl through the crack. How are you? All right, so we still have a little bit more story mode stuff to do before we can uh, get back to the collectibleage. But we will head up here and make our way and start advancing through because we need to get over to the far right. And if you haven't figured it out, I did speed this up a little bit. Uh, maybe even a little bit more than usual. But I promise I will slow it back down. And uh, you'll have plenty of time, don't worry. Quick links down below, everything that we provided, all the info should be easy peasy. Whether you want to listen to my voice or whether you want to mute me and uh, do it on your own. It's all good. That was weird how it like changed me. That's all good. Well, whatever. I should be getting close to the old Bruce Banner slash change into Hulk trophy achievement. I don't remember what that's called. I hope it's you don't want to see me mad. I should look that up real quick, but uh Now we flip the switch, and we'll slide on over with Magnetos. Now that we're in the far right-hand area, it gives us access to the next couple of collectibles, which happen to be mini kits. We already got Stan, so that's all that's left is the mini kits. So there's a little bit of a mini cutscene there for Whiplash whipping his electricity and, and blocking off the abomination there. But we don't mind. We're not even interested in that at the moment. We're interested in this blue glowing box over here, which then, once you use your magnetic ability, dumps out a smaller box, which then dumps out a smaller box, which then dumps out a stud. Oh, wait, woohoo! It's a mini kit. All right. I wouldn't steer you wrong now, would I? So that wraps up that. We're going to move right back over to this jail cell, which is also glowing blue. Isn't that convenient? And we'll rip that down, and then we have to slip over to Mr. Fantastic. Why is that? Well, you have to slip on through the grates that we build for breaking down the old bunk beds there. Ain't nobody sleeping in this, foe by foe. And once you're in there, grab a mini kit, and six mini kits are now officially ours. I love how the AI just switches to the most random character possible. Like, I'm sure it has some, some reasoning, you know, like whatever the algorithm or like variables are that decide that. But if you're gonna wanna switch to old Spidey, Use the Spidey Sense, and up top, grapple the hooks up above Abomination. And right there, it provides a gold, uh, looks like a gold door. We'll go ahead and use our heat ray to go ahead and make our way through there. We cut out a mini kit. Looks like a familiar shape, huh? A couple of bricks bounce around, find their way down into a kit, and oh yeah. Seven in the bag. All right, so. Now's another one of those moments. I'll just go ahead and say it. Uh, it's probably two minutes until the next mini kit is available. More like a minute and a half. But So feel free to use the quick link, which it'll take you to number eight. Isn't that right? Eight? I'm out. You tell me. Oh, the teddy bear. Ooh. I know we mentioned it in the last video, too, but we'll mention it now. We're pondering the thought of looking into maybe getting some big old, like, stuffed thumbies. You know, like a teddy bear? Something that you'd have like on your bed or your kid's bed or whatever. And uh, tell us what you think. Is that a good idea? Is that a bad idea? Would you be interested? Like, I mean, w we would obviously only do it if they were reasonably priced. If they were like two hundred dollars, we wouldn't do it. But uh, you know, if they were like twenty, twenty-five bucks, would that be something? I don't, I don't know. We're, we're looking into stuff like that. You know, if you guys have any ideas of things you'd like to see that we haven't talked about, you know, we're always open for suggestions. We can't promise that we'll make anything come to life for you, but. We might. You never know. We're working hard. We're trying to grow and get bigger. And, uh, you know, sometimes it helps to get some feedback from our the people who drive us, our audience, you guys. All right, so we've worked our way through that little office there and took out a couple of baddies and flipped a switch with Wolverine's claws. Now we got a whole group of baddies coming at us. We're going to make our way up and into what appears to be like a control room of sorts. Essentially, you got to work your way and take out all these baddies and then use the little terminal on the left-hand side with a smart character. 
and we will do that, and then we're actually going to uh, we'll reuse it. We'll use it twice because twice is nice, and actually it's because the second time it gives us access to a, a transformer or a charging station, and uh, we can charge it up and get ourselves a mini kit. So we'll go ahead and check out the cameras first. We're looking for saber tooth. Make your way around. It only lets you do one at a time. It's pretty simple stuff. There's old Deadpool. And, oh, Billy, there's Stan. Even though we freed him, that was the room we freed him in. So, which is weird, too. Because now that I'm thinking back at story mode, now that I know that he was in there and all that, he was free when we looked at it the first time. What up with that? And, um, yeah. I almost broke into song there with a little, what up with that? What up with that? What's up with that? Anybody know what that's from? Tell me if you do. All right, so once the door comes open, that's your cue. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use the sense, the spidey sense here, which shows us the transformer on the left-hand side. You know, you can use Thor, you could use Storm, and uh, Dr. Doom, I suppose, will probably work too. Go ahead and charge it up. Ch 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 charge it up. Once you charge it up, it, guess what? Gives us access to the control panel again. But you're going to need a smart character, and the, it, it tells us Iron Man, so maybe we are limited to Iron Man, but regardless, you should have, like, at least two or three Iron Man. Should have tried Bruce. Bruce is a smart character, isn't he? I don't know. All right, well, we're over here now. There's one room left that we haven't really investigated yet, so we'll take a quick peek again. And isn't that the room that Stan was in? Weird. All right, well, that mini kit is now officially ours. Doesn't matter whose it was. There goes the old Prancer Dancer. Oh, Carnage, Red Skull, Rhino. Oh, and Stan Lee? He's not a threat. I guess he could be. He could draw something really, really crazy. It'd be interesting if they went that way with Stan. What an awesome dude Stan is. And you know what? Somehow, this cutscene didn't get deleted. I'm just now realizing that. Hmm. Sometimes I make mistakes. It's a short one, though. We're here. It's over. Hoo-yah. Finally. So here we are with a little mini boss battle here. Got to take out all the baddies before you can really do any damage on Sabretooth. And we'll just cha 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 it up, grab some studs. If you do it in rapid succession, you can get some really high multipliers going here with uh, the multiplier we already have. It adds up to be quite a nice addition to what we have. So it goes from like an 80 to what, an 800 if you get all the way to 10. That's pretty awesome. All right, eventually you'll get to a spot where you can build up the green-handled, I don't know what it is, rock, debris, something. Aim and toss, and then you repeat this whole process again. Stack up that multiplier, taking out all these dudes. And this is obviously where they get the rock up at the lock up name, because there's definitely some rocking going on right now. It's pretty one-directional. Okay, so all the way at the top of the elevator again. We get a couple of items that we can mess with here to throw at them, so we'll build them up. Toss that couch. That's a pretty sweet couch. I wouldn't throw that bad boy. I'd keep it. I'm in need of a new couch. If you knew me personally, you'd know this to be true. All right. So we hit him again, and we're going to have to rinse and repeat one last time. When we do it this time, though, there's actually going to be two rocks floating around that Magneto gives him. And uh, I guess they're not rocks, they're more platforms. And this one of you will correct me down below, so I'll do it now for you. And uh, and then we have two items we can build up, one on either side. So uh, the order of which you build and throw does not matter. So have at it. If you like right, go right. If you like left, go left. If you're Doug and you don't know right from left, then just choose whichever one you're closest to. Oh, yeah. So here we go. We'll go ahead and build this bad boy up. Hey, we got uh, a mini kit coming up. Look at that. Psych. Still got a little ways to go. But what I will do is I'll give you a, a little a little hint here. Um, did you know when you're searching for Happy Thumbs videos, you can put an HTG at the end of your search? If you notice, all of our videos are labeled that, and that's actually for your convenience. It makes it so much easier to find. And that, that applies, too, on Google, Bing, Yahoo, I anywhere you search. Um, in fact... The majority of the content that'll pop up will most likely be Happy Thumbs gaming content. So maybe you're looking for something specific, can't find it anywhere, but you think Happy Thumbs might be able to help? 
you know, if you didn't start with us to begin with, we're okay with that. Okay, I'm getting behind here. We did go ahead and smash some stuff up over here, and we used the Sandman to build uh, some sort of, like, electronic spider or it's like a helicopter or something. You don't really get to see it, and it doesn't really tell us. Our info didn't tell us squat. Uh, it just said there was three items that we had to take out, so... We got one of them down. We'll go ahead and use Wolvie on the left-hand side of the area uh, after using Iron Man to destroy the silver, I don't know if it was like a rocket ship or whatever. But so there, there it goes. It's like a little quadcopter on that one, and the other one is too. And, and maybe the first one was as well, but you just didn't really see that one. So interesting. But we'll fly up to the top left where it ends up being the third spotlight for the uh, story part of it. We'll slide into this little room where all the baddies came out from, and this blue box right here is actually going to be the third and final one. So uh, I gave myself a little time to explain that. Not sure why I did that. But uh, we'll go ahead and flip this switch. Oh, yeah. There she blows, and there she goes. So Mini Kit 9 is now ours. We'll go ahead and fly up to the top of the elevator shaft. That thing was teasing us in story mode. I was thinking of uh, Lego Pirates, like, who's going to double jump that high? But we can fly. We can fly. We can fly. We can fly. You know, that's another good one, too, huh? Peter Pan. Lego Peter Pan. Out of all the suggestions we've had, no one has ever suggested that. That's a brilliant idea. Look at that. I'm a genius. All right, maybe not genius, but it is a pretty good idea. Lego Peter Pan? Come on. Captain Hook and all them do. Oh, man, I'd have a blast playing that. Anyways. Cha-cha, cha-cha. Look at these guys. I love these little battles. I know I say that every time, but I really do, how they're just like, cha-cha, 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 cha-cha. And this dude's got horrible aim, or whoever that is. My preview window's small. I already told you. Uh, if you didn't figure it out, we are past all of the, of the collectibles. We got Stan Lee earlier in this mission. You can use the uh, quick links down below if somehow you skipped ahead or you missed it or whatever the case may be. Maybe you just want to start over. Go ahead and click Mini Kit 1 and we can go back to the beginning and do it all over again. Basically, we're going to finish this as always. Uh, we got Abomination here and Hulk. And we are trying to take Abomination out. To do so, you're going to have to use the special ability of Hulk and pull up a rock to smash the glowing rock on the right side. This gives you access up top. Technically, we have free play now, so you can probably fly up here and do that. But uh, there has been some weird things about, you know, having to do this in order to do that. So. But we'll go ahead and flash the light on him. He is, uh, you know, Venom hates music and Abomination hates light. So they all have their preferences, I suppose. And after uh, another quick profuse battle shout out to rumpo hey what's up everybody you guys should check out battle chatter online.com it's our good friends uh, viper and rumpo they specialize in battlefield and you know shooter type games uh, but they do other stuff as well they're getting into some trophy achievement videos and not to uh you know steer you on to somebody else but they're good people over there so make sure you stop by and say hi and tell them happy thumbs gaming sent you all right we got all the way up to the top left here gonna go ahead and use our claws to pull the switch and this will give us the third spotlight once we get the third spotlight done we get one last little cha cha cha, -cha and then we'll head to the total screen what do you guys think we're uh, through through four levels of collectibles now and uh, feels pretty good it'll feel much better when we get all the way to the end we still got all those pesky gold bricks it'll be all right we got the gold brick finder already if you want to know more about that ask me on our Facebook page Oh, but look at that. Rock up at the lockup. Level complete. And that was the free play. Free play. That was the remix of the free play, in case you were wondering. Uh, we did get the True Believer. It was only 100K, and as you just saw, we got well over that. Uh, we did get all 10 of the mini kits, which will stack up to a nice little comic book. Oh, yeah, Kashaw. Oh, yeah. Comic unlocked. O to the K. Now stand no in peril. Now, we had that little weird incidence where we uh, saw him free in the story mode, but we actually freed him this time, so good to go on that. But that'll wrap up LEGO Marvel Super Heroes Lock Up at the Rock Up. Lock Up at the Rock Up. What the heck is going on with me? You know what I'm saying. Head over to Facebook, Twitter, comment, vote, subscribe down below, and uh, do it right now and, and go comment about my mess up at the end of this video. Uh, okay, well. Don't be why you look all sad over there. Look at him. He's all, ooh, you made a mistake. It's not okay. Change the face. Change the face. All right. HappyThumbsGaming.com. Subscribe. You know the rest. As always, until next time.